When you're hand sewing, the most important thing to take into consideration is the size of the needle. The longer needles are easier to hold on to, but the smaller ones are better for doing detailed work. So if you're doing something like detailed quilting work, you're going to want to be using a smaller needle. But for most of your regular sewing projects, the bigger needles will do. Also different kinds of eyes on sewing needles. They're the ones with the single eye and the ones with the double eye. The ones with the single eye are a little bit easier to thread, but the ones with the double eye are a lot easier to sew with because the thread doesn't get uneven. When you're sewing something with a single eyed needle and you go to pull the thread through, sometimes one piece of thread will go through all the way and the other one will stay stuck on the other side and then you have to go through and find which thread it is and pull it through to tighten it up. The double eyed needle that doesn't happen as often because the double eyes keep the thread straight. So to thread a double eyed needle, you just push the thread through the bottom hole, pull it through a little ways, and then push it back through the top hole from the opposite direction so that both of your thread tails are coming out of the same side of the needle. And if you have trouble getting the thread through the eye, you can always lick the end of the thread. So then you just pull your thread tails up even, wrap them around one of your fingers, and then push the tail through the loop you just made. And then pull it up tight. And then you'll do that again to make sure you're not secure. And then you just cut off the tails, leaving just a little bit extending beyond the knot. So to do your actual sewing, you start by taking your piece of material and folding it so that your right sides are together. The right sides meaning the side that you actually want to be on the outside. You'll put them on the inside when you first start sewing. Normally you want to use thread that's the same color as the material you're sewing, but I'm using black so that it shows up on the camera. And so to start it, you just push your needle through, and then you push it back through, very close to the other stitch, pull it almost all the way up, and then there will be a little loop there where you tied the knot and the two threads. Run your needle through that, and then pull everything tight. That'll keep the thread from coming out. And so then you'll just proceed on, pushing the needle down, and up, and down, and up. And you can do about two stitches before you actually have to pull the thread up. And you'll just keep going on like that until you have your piece of material all sewn. You can also do, there's a shortcut method you can also do, where you just take your needle and you push it through so it's on the other side, and then you push it back up through, and then push it through to the other side, and push it back up through, and push it through to the other side, and push it back up through, and you can just push the needle all the way through, pull the thread up, and you get several stitches in one, but it's harder to get small stitches like that, so if you want smaller stitches, then just do them one at a time with the down. and then back up. So once you make your final stitch, pull your thread up and then duck your needle back under, back under one of the stitches that you just made, pull it up so you get yourself a loop, and run your needle right through that loop. And then pull everything up tight. And then you'll do the same thing again, running it under that same stitch, pulling it up to make a loop, and then ducking your needle right through the loop. And then since we've only got one row of stitches here, you want to reinforce it. Once you've got that tied off, just push your needle through so it's on the other side. And then you'll come right back up on the other side of that stitch. And you're just going to fill in all the empty spaces in your stitch line, making brand new stitches to fill in the empty spaces. So you end up with a solid line of stitches all the way across. And that'll give it extra strength. So once you've got your stitch line doubled up all the way across, you'll just do the same thing you did on the other side. 
putting your needle under your most recent stitch, pulling it up to make a loop, ducking your needle through the loop, and pulling it up tight. And of course do it for a second time. And then you just cut off the excess thread, flip your material right side out, and it's sewn together and you can't see the stitches, especially if you use thread of the same color. Like you can see a little bit of the black here, but if you use thread of the same color you won't even notice the stitches. And so that is how you hand sew.